For the second set of notes in section 11.8, we are going to discuss Brahmagupta's formula and do two example problems dealing with heroes in Brahmagupta's formulas. Around 628 AD, a Hindu mathematician, Brahmagupta, recorded a formula for the area of an inscribed quadrilateral. This formula applies only to quadrilaterals that can be inscribed in circles, which are known as cyclic quadrilaterals. So in order to find this area of the cyclic quadrilateral with side lengths A, B, C, and D, we can take the square root of the semi-perimeter minus side A times the semi-perimeter minus side B times the semi-perimeter minus side C and times the semi-perimeter minus side D. Keep in mind that the semi-perimeter can be found by finding the perimeter of the entire quadrilateral and dividing by 2. So A plus B plus C plus D divided by 2. Let's do example problem 1 together. For this, we want to find the area of a triangle with side lengths 20, 21, and 23. We should be thinking hero's formula since we know all three sides of that triangle. We derived that earlier and I rewrote it here. First, we have to find our semi-perimeter, which means we're going to add up all three sides and divide by 2, which leaves us with 64 divided by 2 with a semi-perimeter of 32. Wherever we see an S in our equation, we're substituting in 32 for it. So we have 32 times 32 minus one of the sides. So I'll start with 20 times 32 minus another side of the triangle. I'll go with 21 next, times 32 minus our third side of the triangle, which is 23. Make sure you're bringing down that radical sign. So we have 32 times, I'm doing 32 minus 20 to get 12, times 32 minus 21, which is 11, times 32 minus 23, which is 9. Don't forget to bring down that radical symbol. Then we multiply everything out, and we're left with radical 30,016. We want to see if we could simplify that radical. So our largest perfect square we could divide that radical by is 576. 576 times 66 gives us that, which leaves us with 24 radical 66 units squared for the area of our triangle. You can also use your radical simplifier or A quad program to simplify that radical. I'd like you to try number two on your own now that we just did the first example together. So pause the video, work out problem two, and once you're ready to compare your answer with mine, hit play. For number two, you should recognize we're given an inscribed quadrilateral, so we should be thinking about Brahmagupta's formula, which is the following. We talked about that above. We know side lengths are 3, 12, 12, and 7. But we do have to find our semi-perimeter first. So let's add up all four sides and divide by 2 to get that our semi-perimeter is 17. From there, we're substituting in. So we're doing 17 minus 3 times 17 minus 12 times 17 minus 7 times 17 minus 12 and taking the square root of that. Simplifying it, we're left with radical 3,500. But let's simplify that radical which leaves us with 10 radical 35 units squared for the area of our inscribed quadrilateral. 